can i still get 99 percentile i know that most of you are thinking that ma'am a huge chunk of syllabus is pending backlogs are piling up concept clarity not there problem solving not that strong and only 90 days left in j main january attempt so can i still get 99 percentile in january attempt this is one question that must be lingering in your brain and you know what majority of you might have lost the hope and it is obvious this is natural also because the condition if you are seeing practically it can come in your mind it can be in your mind that okay maybe i am not in that 99 percentile club okay but but if you have clicked on this video i know that a little hope is still left even after so much adverse situation even if you feel that everything is wasted now if you have clicked on this video that means a little hope is there that can i really get okay so we will decode this question we will find the answer of this question that can i still get 99 percentile despite being backlogs syllabus pyqs mocks nothing is happening still is three in these three months can i still do it so let's decode it today okay and decoding we will do by understanding that what exactly 99 percentile means that how many questions to be done correctly in order to get 99 percentile in j main january attempt 2026 okay let's start with mathematics here you can see the data of january attempt 2025 so that we can take an inspiration in 2026 the data is the, the data will be very much in sync plus minus 2 3 percent will be there but you can keep this data as base to build your strategy of next three months okay all right so now you can see that these are the 10 shifts that has happened in january attempt okay these 10 shifts and to get 99 percent i can you see that 22nd january shift 1 40 marks gave you 99 percentile and if i talk about this 28th january shift 1 the toughest shift as per as mathematics is concerned only 39 marks to get 99 percentile but the easiest shift as far as mathematics is concerned was 24 january shift 2 and you got you need to get 54 marks to get 99 percentile okay so yes there is a variation you can see that there is a variation of what do we say 15 marks between easy and tough shift but right now think about average think about safe score or target score what should be my target score i'll give you the target so you need to target 46 marks in mathematics to get 99 percentile okay i am assuming that you know that j main a, the total marks of j main is 300 physics 100 maths 100 chemistry 100 okay now in each subject you have 25 questions physics 25 questions maths 25 questions chemistry 25 questions so total 75 questions okay so now let's talk about maths 25 questions each question carry plus four marks if the answer is right if the answer is wrong minus one and if you have unattempted you will get a zero okay so now what does this 46 marks means 46 on 100 46 on 100 okay so 46 marks just divided by four na? how many questions to be done correctly so this is going to be approximately 12 a question 12 fours are 48 right so approximately 12 questions need to be correct okay and you know what if your accuracy is not that great then you have to attempt more than 15 questions so that you can fall under 12 to 3 questions should be correct and wrong will be this so that negative marking can be adjusted but right now 12 questions approximately only 50 percent you should get less than 50 percent less than 50 percent you can you should get to enter into 99 percentile for mathematics okay and you know what 50 percent 50 percent of the paper can be controlled can be hacked can be mastered just by doing 12 13 high weighted chapters but very strongly okay so maths very less number of questions should be correct because maths being lengthy or you can say a little bit tricky or 
you can say that difficult okay but that's not the case with physics and chemistry unfortunately okay or fortunately we don't know physics you can see to get 99 percentile the score has been increased as if you compare with maths okay 65 84 70 so you can see that the lowest score you have to get is 64 if the shift is so difficult this shift was very difficult shift as far as physics is concerned and this was the easiest of all as far as physics is concerned so 85 marks if you average it out you have to get 76 marks okay so 19 into 4 78 so less than 19 questions should be corrected so equal to 19 only you should say that 19 questions you should 19 out of 25 should be correct questions okay so that means you have to for physics you have to make sure that more number of questions are correct and you know what a similar is the case with chemistry also but chemistry being easy see understand this data is showing that solving chemistry and physics is slightly easier than maths that's what that's why this data here also you can see that average 70 marks because you can see that this is again difficult shift for chemistry also and this is the easiest shift for chemistry also 76 marks okay so 70 marks you should get 17 questions out of 25 should be correct now this is the data can you do it can this data can you beat this data 12 19 and 17 question in maths physics and chemistry is ma is this still doable that's what your question should be okay so let me answer you this now let me answer you this now okay that if you are going to work on the right strategy in this three months see i'm making this video three months before j main i am not making this video one month prior to j main if you ask me in one month is it possible my answer would have been different I would have said that if not 99 but you can still target 93 94 percentile but now I am saying target 99 percentile or even more because you still have three months and you know what if you follow the right strategy if your mindset is clear then definitely you can do it because it has it always seems impossible until it's done if you keep a chart and if you keep counting the negatives, syllabus completion, not done. But you know what? Is the 100% syllabus, syllabus completion is required? You have seen the data. No. Is the 100% paper to be done to get 99 percentile? No. So smart studies can get you to 99 percentile. I have given you proof. Okay. So just understand this. And also, now you'll be like, but ma'am, only three months left. So remember this, every year, I'm talking about this, I'm talking about J only, every year, thousands of students make a massive jump in the last stretch and you can be one of them. Okay, all right, but yes, again, conditions apply. If you want to be, if your brain is clear, if your mindset is clear, if you have that motivation and you know what? It happens suddenly something happens some like changing uh, incidents happen in the life of students and then previously we are scared all the negative emotions are piling up and then one moment everything got changed now you have started waking up early you have started working on strategy you have started giving mocks you have started working on pyqs you have started working on conceptual clarity also and you have started working on that what should i study and what should i not study because now you don't have any time to waste also okay so you need to focus on syllabus completion so it's there focus on pyqs and giving mocks even if you give chapter test even if you give part test but give it every sunday a mock should be given if you have not started start it now okay and most importantly make sure that the paper you are solving it should be solved in exam like condition understand practicing will not help practicing will help but practicing only will not help mock should be given okay 
so this one habit can actually push your score and also sometimes we feel that okay this much to i should do this is one disease some people have that okay one chapter i am going to finish today and you know what maybe you will be able to understand uh, maybe you will be able to uh, do only 70% of that chapter or maybe 70% of the time table you have decided for yourself then you will get that demotivation because you are after perfection next day you will not do anything because your brain is shut down your emotions overpowered and you feel like a loser so do not chase perfection at the end of the day just think about how much have i improved today or even how much i have improved within this particular week that should be the mindset change the mindset a proper proper big mindset change mindset shift is required okay all right can you see again even 5 to 10% boost on day 1 if you are feeling that na that is a positive thing okay and that can actually get into get you into lift you into 99 percentile zone okay so stay consistent trust your preparation and give your best shot in january okay also also i would like to tell you that if you are looking for a test series okay if you are looking for a test series then we are working very hard on this test series which is going to reveal when tomorrow 7 pm i'll show i'll show you okay i'll show you uh, can you see this this particular thing vedantu eklavya test series okay this is vedantu eklavya test series link i'll post in the description box okay the series is going to reveal this is the link vedantu eklavya test series so this series is going to reveal when 26 september 7 pm tomorrow okay so make sure make sure make sure that you attend that session it is going to be very small session launch session and i would highly highly recommend you to enroll for a test series a full fledged test series because mock is going to help you a lot and a good quality mock not a random mock okay but again one one ninja tip one ninja tip for the time being if you feel that okay i want to give mock can there be any free resource for that so give a previous year question paper as mock test okay and now to you know also which is the easy shift which is the difficult shift okay so you can see that january attempt easy shift okay it will give you confidence don't pick difficult one 24 january shift to start with this can you see the maths was also easier physics also easier and chemistry also easier okay same 28 january shift 1 so just give that 28 january shift 1 paper as a mock test as a beginner okay initially like initially 15 days 20 20 days you should just work on confidence boosting that's it the moment you get that confidence boost na then autopilot you will go up, go into 99% but the first 15 days if this is going to be confidence decreaser then there will be a big trouble okay so yes this is me on ninja ma'am signing off and i am going to see you in the next video